Hi Libra, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-July general reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Libra, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Libra, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Libra, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Libra, how are y'all doing? Again, this is your mid-July general reading. We're doing a nine card spread today. That's past, present, and future energy. Nice, we've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-July. We are still in Cancer season. It's water energy. All right, my loves, y'all have the hangman at the bottom of the deck, Libra. So this is a uh, this is all the water signs to me. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this is your theme. It's actually very nice. You're taking a step back, maybe looking at a situation, um, something in your 3D world. The hangman is about pulling back and seeing what I'm hearing value. What value does this job bring to me, a connection bring to me? What value does blah, blah, blah. You fill in the blank. blank bring to you right now that's what i'm getting um and i'm also getting an uh, a different perspective of are you being valued knight of pentacles wheel of fortune and the star card i feel like you've had a stroke of like good luck or really positive things coming in um and i feel like you're taking a look around knight of pentacles being really grateful for I'm even hearing the small victories. Even if you've been going through a lot or going through stuff, I feel like there's been a little bit of an upswing, some positive results, um, some big changes coming in. And you're kind of like, okay, things are starting to work out in whatever your situation is. Very good. Let's look at the recent past for Libra, please. Recent past Libra. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, the Eight of Wands, some fire there, and the, ooh, the Five of Swords, Double Fives, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Nine of Swords. There was some type of disappointment in the recent past, Libra, something that you were sad about, maybe crying about, um, or needed to release, um, a connection, a person, the loss of something, a loss of a location, a job, this is general. And you were kind of maybe down, a little sad about it. There was a turnaround where you opened up Eight of Wands and communicated to maybe um, someone online. This is online social media communication. You maybe jumped online or talked to someone from a distance um, about what happened. And then Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you were trying your best to have some type of conflict resolution. And I'm getting from a lot of you um you're you've been feeling in the recent past like no matter what i do i can't win like you've been maybe trying to deal with one situation and then talk about someone else with another situation and i'm getting from you a little bit of frustration like no matter what i do or what i say i feel like i'm wrong or i'm in trouble um queen of pentacles when you're really just trying to value yourself Some of y'all experienced some type of disappointment where you opened up to somebody, um, someone romantic in the family, a coworker, doesn't matter. And five of swords. I also feel for a group of you, you didn't get the response that you expected. Maybe you expected to have a little bit more support, for example, from like a friend group on a breakup or a loss. And instead, five of swords, they were being kind of catty about it. I feel for some of you, you opened up to try to express how you felt about a situation and whoever you opened up to or whatever you opened up to, I feel like it put a bad taste in your mouth. Let's keep going. Ok, 
current energy for Libra, please. Okay, honeys, we have the Three of Swords out. We've got the Nine of Wands. And we have the Tower card of Scorpio or one of their cards with the Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I, I'm hearing Saving Grace. I feel like right now, Nine of Wands, right in the heart of your reading, Libra, this is Wounded Warrior. You're tired, you're exhausted of whatever this is. Um, Three of Swords, you're definitely reflecting right now. You've been looking back and being like, man, I have been through a lot. This has been really difficult. This loss, this change, a breakup, even with a friend. But then boom, current energy right now, we have the tower. This is a major, major shift. This is an out of nowhere. I'm feeling because of this kind of heavy energy you've been dealing with, this is the game changer right here. A lot of you are like, yes, now all of, all of a sudden there's some game changer energy. Um, we have the three of cups. There could be something to celebrate right now. Ace of pentacles about getting something. Seven of pentacles you've been waiting on for a long time. What's coming in for Libra, please? Future energy, what's coming in? Thank you. We have the Hermit card of Virgo. We have the Four of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Swords, okay? King of Wands, bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Death card, King of Cups, Two of Wands. I really feel like in the near future, there's a boost of confidence around uh, Four of Pentacles, some type of stable um, foundation coming together. Whatever's happening right now with the tower, you are going to really, really think about it in the near future. You're going to pull back. We talked about um, the hangman at the beginning. You're looking at how does this situation benefit me? Where am I being valued? And then with the hermit, it's a little bit deeper. In the future, you're going to see, wait a minute. Is this a part of my soul's path? Is this a part of my, my soul's mission? Four of Swords, you're like, okay, whatever's happening right now, you're like, let me think on it, let me sleep on it, let me pray on it, yada, yada. And then Knight of Swords, this is you, you're gonna have a response, okay? I definitely, because it's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This also could be someone, um, I'm hearing suggesting, suggestive, trying to help you with a decision or with something going on here. But I really feel for a lot of you, this is you reaching out, communicating, like, yep. I know what I want. Yes, I'm going to take that change or no, I'm not going to take the change or whatever this is. King of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords. It's definitely going to put you in your power. It's going to give you a boost of confidence. Um, it's going to set you up for success, whatever this is. There's a big shift. There's a big maybe offer or something going on here with the tower. Game change your energy. Where I feel like with everything that's been going on, you actually consider whatever this changes this out of nowhere offer obviously we'll see more details in a moment when we get into the clar uh, clarifiers but you're really going to take something to heart you're going to take something home and be like okay i kind of feel like someone's coming in to help or something like that and you're like okay i never really take a lot of people's help but i'll take it this time or sure i'll take the offer or whatever here Let's go deeper and see what this flip of energy is. Um, I've already pre-shuffled and cut your clarification deck just to save some time. Libra, you have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is commitment. There's a celebration around a commitment, relationship, job, a location, yada, yada. Um, judgment, yeah, three of cups, ooh, ace of swords, queen of cups, ten of cups, tower. Yeah, someone wants to maybe make something, make things right with you. Some of you might be owed um, like a favor, some money, some time from somebody. I do feel like someone who loves you and cares for you um, does want to step in and help assist or be a part of whatever it is that you're going through right now. All right, thank you, Spirit, for these messages. What's this Five of Cups in the recent past for Libra? Well, there you go. So seven of swords, this is the clarifying the past energy, five of cups of being sad, disappointed, maybe crying over something, okay?
clarifying that seven of swords you were lied to manipulated um death card scorpio another scorpio card out and then we have the three of pentacles i'm hearing um I'm definitely feeling some type of like, dang it, I knew that person was lying or dang it, I knew that wasn't true. Something might have felt too good to be true. Death card, something definitely came to an end, a close. For a lot of you, three of pentacles where you had to pick up the pieces and move on by yourself, either in a career situation, family, whatever this is. Yeah, six of cups, emperor. Yeah, some of you might have gotten um, some mistrusting, um, Someone was not trustworthy emperor in a, in, a, in, a, in a position of power. Like maybe the boss was doing something shady. Like you found out someone who was maybe well-respected or had a lot of like emperor, masculine, boss, fatherly type of energy um, was either lying to you, manipulating that type of thing, death card. It caused some type of ending or transformation. And then you're over here, Libra, in the past three of pentacles, trying to pick up the pieces, okay? Let's look at your eight of wands recent past. This is where you maybe opened up and we're talking to people about what was happening, what's going on. Why the, yeah, five of cups right back out. Yep. Why the eight of wands for Libra, please? Ooh, babes. Five of cups out again, clarifying your communication card strength, card of Leo. It's like you were opening up, even from a distance, like, hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, friend, hey, whoever. I'm really going through it. I'm really having a rough time with this breakup, with this loss. I miss so-and-so, whatever the thing is. Ten of swords. You're like, I just feel betrayed. You're like, I, I, you're, you have felt with whatever this was, like, I can't trust anyone anymore. Or I can't trust people who I work for, I can't trust masculines anymore. I can't trust you fill in the blank, six of cups. You feel very um, discouraged about not getting the support that you wanted. What's this five of swords about recent past? I'm hearing someone being like, who cares? Like towards you, like you trying to ex express yourself and with this five of swords, I got someone else being like, who cares? And as soon as I said that, the lover's card came out, card of Gemini, a fellow heir friend to you. Um, hmm. What's this five of swords for Libra, please? Recent past. Yeah, magician and the six of wands. I honestly feel whoever you opened up to, like, yeah, I've been going through it, or yeah, um, I'm gonna go do this because I'm in a lot of pain. I'm gonna take a vacation. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna whatever, whatever. I feel like whoever that was or that group of people, like Five of Swords, they were just like, caused conflict about it. Who cares? That type of thing. And why would they say that? Lovers, Magician, Six of Wands, because you're still winning at something. Like whoever said that to you basically is jealous of what you have. Um, Cause Vic six of wands is a victory card where you're still on top here. You're still winning something. You still have an accomplishment and a connection, a job, a home or something. And I feel like whoever you were opening up to um, was kind of like a, I don't care whatever vibe Libra with you um, because they don't have whatever opportunity that you had. Why the lovers please, two of pentacles, page of swords, and the full card. Some of you also might've had to make a choice between one person or another, or one job or another, a location or another, and whoever you didn't pick, whoever you didn't pick is being quite like a sore loser, if you will. All right, let's move on. Why do you have the three of swords right now, Libra? Why? you have the five of pentacles you have the ace of cups and the knight of wands knight of wands ace of cups king of wands you're like hurt and heartbroken because you're having to start over again you're having to start from scratch some of you are you've maybe been five of pentacles kicked out removed, separated from a home, a family, um, a relationship of some sort. 
but you're like, all right, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, there's going to be other cups out there. There's other fish out there. Um, it also could be vice versa. Maybe you left someone in the back burner. Um, no, I don't want to be with you. No, I don't want this job. No, I'm going to pass on the offer, blah, 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 whatever. But Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, you're like, well, I'm just going to keep going with what I have. Like, I feel like you're trying to make lemonade out of lemons, if you will, because Ace of Cups is here. You still have some type of um, new hope, new potential in the near future. Why the Nine of Wands for Libra, please? Nine of Wands in the heart of your reading right now, it's very like, I'm tired. You're at the very end of a very difficult chapter in your life. We have the Four of Wands, the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, and we have the Hermit. You're exhausted of people like wanting what you have, Again, four of wands, maybe you have like a, <clears throat> a beautiful relationship and some of your single friends are like, ugh, that's not fair. Or like maybe you have a beautiful home or a great job, four of wands, whatever you're connected to, committed to. What is your four of wands? Star card. Maybe you're really handsome, beautiful, um, six of swords, judgment. I'm getting kind of like whatever it is that you have. Of course, you've worked hard for it. A lot of you are very grateful and humble for whatever it is you have. Money, connection, a job, great looks, great health, whatever that is. Um, you make it look easy when it's not. You are also being very careful and cautious because of whatever's going on on who you are allowing in your energy, in your home, in your space, and also who's not allowed, right? You're being very um, conscious of that. All right, what's this tower about for Libra? This is like out of nowhere. Oh, out of nowhere. This is driving me insane. One second. Libra, y'all understand. Y'all are my fashionistas, you understand. And I make sure the shirt looks cute. I'm not falling apart over here. <sighs> okay. Out of nowhere. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Wands, El Diablo, Coño. <laughs> the devil came out. The devil is the counterpart to the lovers. Okay. This is someone coming in like at a saving grace to help you with something. Why, why is this a, a devil situation? Three of cups, four of cups, king of wands. You're definitely getting something right now um, that you're going to like. It could be like a new love, a new person, uh, what like some unexpected money. Um, but with the page of wands and the devil, it's something that's going to be Oh, yes, that feels really good right now, but it's toxic and it's not long lasting, right? It's like, hey, I'm going through a lot and whatever, whatever, this person's around. Okay, I'm going to do that. Or, hey, this offer's there. Okay, I'll just do that right now. Why have you been waiting on this Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands? You've been waiting for someone to come like help you with whatever this is and I also feel like whatever this is too you have a choice to take the high road or to like stay in a uh, I'll just do what I want energy and I mean that with love there's no right or wrong and this is like a, uh, I'm just gonna stay I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay doing the karmic thing repeating the, the same lesson because right now it's the easiest thing to do right I feel like you're making a choice to stay in a more easy, and I mean this with love, but double energy page of wands is like seven of pentacles. I'm okay settling with a lower vibrational person, friend group, job, mindset, whatever, because you have so much on your plate right now, it seems too difficult to really step up in the next level, right? Okay, so we're you're now that's what you're gonna take home with you and be like, 
am I making the right decision? Am I sure? Am I, you're, I'm speaking as you. You're like, am I sure I want to do this? Am I sure I want to stay in this toxic relationship? Am I sure I want to stay um, in some type of fear-based energy with the devil here? Why the Hermit for um, Libra, please? Future energy. We have a flipper. Yeah. Six of Cups on your, the Hermit. We have the Fool card, the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Why the Hermit for Libra, please? Near future. Why? Ooh, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. This is a lesson. I've had to learn this for myself a, a while ago. Some of you might want more stable relationships, more, and I mean that in love, friendship. You might want more stable job, career situations, living situations, whatever. But when you, for example, when you can't stay consistent with something that you are dedicated to, a job, a, a, a health situation, um, a mindset, a relationship when you so quickly change your mind or whatever whatever how are you attracting other people places and situations that are more stable when you're not in a stable energy and i'm saying this with love i had to practice this practice this myself um you might realize for a lot of you when you change your mind or flip or um that type of thing. It's, it's been something you've been doing for a long time. I feel like for a lot of you, you don't mean to do that because you're always trying to make sure you're not rocking the boat, hurting other people's feelings, that type of thing. But every once in a while, when you do that too much, who do you lose? Yourself. So therefore, a lot of you are trying to take your power back like one day, one moment at a time and making more healthier decisions and sticking to those said de decisions so you can prove to yourself that you can whatever, whatever, be dedicated to, I'm going to do this today, I'm going to do it. Because therefore, you're going to start align or realign with people, places, situations that are more in dedication, energy, whatever that means to you. Four of Swords, why is this coming in for Libra? We have the Hierophant, um, Card of Taurus, Four of Swords out again, the Queen of Swords, you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Strong Feminine here with Justice, your card, the Moon, Ace of Swords. What are you going to say here? Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, I'm tired of hurting, Ten of Pentacles. You're tired of maybe feeling like the sacrifice in a way or the black sheep for like a family situation. Um, why the Hierophant? Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you might be getting um, a commitment and offer from like an ex, an ex-romantic situation, an ex-partner, an old friend something like that who's coming around and it's like fun, but maybe they're not the best influence. It's that type of thing. I feel like you really are um, trying to step it up and understand, is this good for me or not? Have I, am I repeating a pattern that I know I've, I've healed over before or not? So now here's your answer. This is like, this is what I'm gonna do. All right, Knight of Swords for Libra, please. Why is this coming in near future? There's that emperor. We have the emperor, divine masculine, card of Aries, father figure, partner energy. We have the tower again and the 10 of wands, eight of pentacles and the hermit. Yes, yes, yes. You're making a decision, knight of swords. Your answer to this is no matter what it is, you're like, well, I'm going to step up. I'm going to take care of it. I'm the emperor. This is, I'm speaking as you. I'm the emperor. I'm taking charge. Even all the femmes watching. This is like, no one's going to take my foundation from me. 
No one's going to come into my life, tower 10 of wands and screw my stuff up when I've worked so hard for my career, when I've worked so hard on my physical health, when I've worked so hard on my mental health, when I've worked so hard on ba -ba 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 -da -da, whatever that is for you, right? Eight of Pentacles, you are hard at work, my loves. I'm so proud of you. This is not easy, but I'm so proud of you that are really like resonating with this. You're dedicated to Hermit Wheel of Fortune, kicking off any karmic um, ways, ties, sneaky energy, um, that type of thing where like you being an honorable, um, in charge person for yourself is going to re uh, realign you with other people, places, and situations that are big boss energy, right? Because when you're making moves like this, that doesn't look like a big boss energy. Big bosses, you know what I mean? Like that's the energy shift that you're going through right now. And I know that's hard for you because you want everyone to love you, Libra. That's your rule by Venus. You're our lovey-dovey little cute sweet, fashionable, <laughs> intelligent, funny, amazing little social butterflies out there. And that's cute that everyone loves you, but you can love yourself more when you take more of a stance, okay? Don't be afraid to lose people or to piss people off because you have to do you, okay? I love y'all. Let's do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Libra that won the pick a card this time is Renee Madden. Renee, you are my winner. All right. So Libra, if you want to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for everything. I will see y'all in the love reading or next time. Hi, Renee. How are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. We've got two more, Spirit. What are the best and highest messages for Renee? Libra energy. Girl, you've got El Diablo down here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. You have the Devil, the Fool, the Two of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, I'm hearing from, from you, enough is enough. You're going to take control, big time control of a situation. Um, with this energy behind you, it's actually really positive. I feel like you're about to learn how to master something. Um, the devil with a lot of like positive energy around it is really, can be really positive. Um, where you're like, not just like really good at something, you're the best. You're number one. All right, what do we have for Renee? Spirit, what is Renee's message here? We have the Hierophant card of Taurus. Justice, your card. Those look very similar to me right now. Queen of Swords, you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Knight of Swords. <gasps> the Two of Cups flew out like that. Wow. It's a connection. There's definitely something going on with a connection in your life. Okay, we have Temperance out, card of Sagittarius, Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups. I feel like you and someone want to start over, talk, let's hash something out, Two of Cups, Renee. This could be a best friend, a ride or die, a family member, it could be something romantic. Strong water there, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone who's really sweet and sensitive overall. Not perfect, but sweet and sensitive. <clears throat> I feel what's funny is usually justice, your card can mean like court stuff, documents, but I'm actually getting that from the Hierophant or there could have been like a court case. There could have been like um, some type of very legal situation that you're, that you're involved in, like a marriage, a divorce, um, property, stuff like that. Um, things have been hashed out or are being hashed out um, in that situation you want to talk or someone wants to talk to you about whatever's been going on and try to at least savor the connection. You also might be going through, for an example, like a breakup, a divorce, a separation, but at the end of the day, two of cups, you and this person might still be friends or co-parent 
or something like that is what I'm getting. Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, and we have the Emperor here. I'm hearing everything will be all right. Everything will be all right from uh, the Killers. I think the song's called Everything Will Be All Right. We're gonna take two clarifiers per one. Why the Hierophant? Thank you for Renee, please. Two of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Wands. You've been making a decision about who is this King of Cups to you? Chariot, Strong Cancer, Three of Swords, Five of Swords. Yeah, there's been some conflict with some type of um, relationship or connection you've been a part of. You've kind of had one step in or one foot in, one foot out of whatever this is. Yeah, the Two of Swords is pointing at this Ten of Swords. So you didn't know if you wanted to stay in this because I love them, I can do this. Um, or should I just take, you know, leave this alone? Why justice for Renee, please? Hermit again. Card of Virgo and the moon. Six of swords, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo energy here. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm hearing like a soft close that type of thing. Like maybe this was even like a business, for example, and it's like, okay, we're closing. Something's coming to an end and it's just coming to an end very, very uh, slowly and very softly. There's a lot of deep emotions here with the moon card. Either you or someone you're dealing with is like really, really, really emotional. Page of Swords, Emperor, Knight of Cups. I'm feeling, for example, if this is like a breakup or divorce, like one person really wanted the breakup or divorce and the other person is still like head over heels for the other one. That type of vibe. Or like if you're losing a business or like stepping down out of something, you're like, dang it, that sucks, but you're not really showing how, how much it's killing you on the inside. Let's look at the Queen of Swords, Renee. Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. There is, after whatever this official, we're done clearing, you might have to wrap something up. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of an al alternate story here. Where like, maybe you have to get a divorce or sign some paperwork so that you can get engaged and move on, for example, to a new person in your life or you know someone else you've been dating. I'm also getting that, like, okay, now that they're officially divorced or you're officially divorced, okay, now we can move forward with our relationship, um, that type of, I'm getting that as well. Now that something's over with, you and someone else can come closer or potentially save some type of connection. Yeah, yeah. Why the two of cups for Renee, please? Beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Three of pentacles, ace of pentacles, two of wands. Yes, I definitely feel Why the Hermit, please? Magician, Nine of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay, I'm kind of getting more of the second part of the story where you had to make something officially over with or someone else did so that you can move on or move forward in a deeper connection with somebody. Yep. All right, in Temperance, we have the Three of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles. You're still definitely upset about this breakup, divorce, loss, something that's definitely over. Um, you might not have gotten like five of pentacles, the money, the home, something like that out of the situation. But what you are getting is a chance to start over, a boost of confidence with somebody else. Um, and this person, whoever this new person is, um, or someone who's now I'm hearing allowed to be more in your space or energy, they're really, really invested, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords, into helping you heal a lot of different things in your life. I feel really good energy from whoever that is, okay? All right, lovey. I hope that um, I hope that helped. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. Thank you always for your love and support. I'll see y'all in the love reading next time. Bye.